Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you Seesaw's new activity library. Seesaw is a great digital portfolio platform and you can use it for other things like assigning activities to your students. So I've already signed in in this tab and you can see my class here. And let's go and select activities. And now let's go in and browse the activity library. And we'll see here in the Seesaw Library, uh, there's more than 1,500 activities that are already available for you to use. Let's say I want to find something uh, for ninth grade in the area of history. There's a ninth grade history activity. And let's do uh, you know, compare and contrast. Let's take a look at that one. All right. So we'll use that one. Say I like that activity. You see, I can even play back the instructions if I need a little uh, more information about it. So now that's in my library where I have my compare and contrast. Let's go ahead and now share that and give it to the class or classes that I would like to complete the activity. So you can see I can assign it to all of my classes if I want to. Let's do all of them. And now share it. And so just like any other activity I've given before, kids sign in and they can respond. I can go back in and look for more to do. Now when I'm done in here, just exit out. When I click on activities, I'll now see this menu here. And when I need more activities, I'll just go into browse the activity library once more. And we can see here, I have zero responses so far, and I'm uh, waiting for six students to respond in this classroom. So that's a short overview of how you can access the new activities library available in Seesaw. And as always, you can find Seesaw at seesaw.me. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.